Hello Flamenco 2 and Flamenco 3. How are you today? This is Miss D um, recording a little castanet class for you so that we can virtually continue to learn our castanets and get better. Now that we have a little bit more time, maybe you could practice without dancing and then when we're dancing, it sounds better. So as you know, we should all have our castanets in a beautiful, cozy, saying I love you kind of like pouch so that they feel comfy in there and they're very well taken care of. So go ahead and take out your castanets. Remember, castanets are girl or boy. The girl is the one with the little line, the boy is the one without the line. So we're gonna put it with our knot. This little knot area goes in first on your thumb. I know that all of you know this already, but in case you invited a friend, and your friend has never done this before and she's trying it or he's trying it then thumb goes first and then you pull and then the little loop that's left is what you use for the other part to go in your knuckle should be in between both ropes okay you shouldn't have the rope that goes second all the way back it should be right on each side of your knuckle like a knuckle in the middle so i know this is not the best thing for um hygiene but it is only the only way i know how to do it i hold one with my teeth and i pull the other one because the castanet has to be tight we have done this before in class if you go like this and the castanet rolls down is because it's not tight on your finger so it should move it should not move actually it should go with your hand without rolling out of your finger so the left hand is the same thing. This should be the boy, no little line. The knot goes in first, all the way to the back. Pull, and if it's, it's, see mine is tight already, but I like it tighter. So again, tighter now. Touch it on it, I sure you make it tight. Okay, and I'm ready. I don't know if you're ready, but both of my castanets are secured. Okay, they're tight enough. My knuckles are in the middle the knot area and the ropes are to the back of your finger not in the front in the back okay even though we're not dancing you could be sitting down for this exercise i still need you to be straight your back needs to be straight yes your back needs to be not like leaning on the chair but straight you're still pulling up that way you're practicing your your abs are getting stronger and your hands are in first position okay and elbows are out in flamenco position so that we can start. So we're going to do basic exercise just for your fingers. We're going to go alternate from hand to hand, pinky, pinky, ring finger, middle finger, index. And I'll go the same way, but down, middle, ring, pinky, and up, two, three, One, one, they're both ones. Twos, threes, fours, threes, twos, one. Do you understand? One is the pinky, two is the ring fingers, three are gonna be the middle fingers, four are gonna be the index fingers. So we're gonna go one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Catch that you're not going like this. You should not have your castanets facing me. Your castanets should be enclosed inside of your hands and your finger should be reaching out to your castanet, not the other way around or anywhere in between. You are extending your finger to go into your castanet. Where is it supposed to be? Uh, where, where are you supposed to hit? You're supposed to hit in what is called barriga. On the right here, on the middle of the castanet is called barriga, the belly. This is the neck of your castanet. This is the belly. You want to hit in the middle. I don't want anybody trying like just on the edges or up here on the neck. That's not where it goes. Every single finger should hit the center of your castanet. So let's try it again. Fingers are the ones that extend. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, down three, three, two, two, one, one, two, two, three. 
Maria. So we start with a golpe on your left hand. Usually when we do golpes, we use how many fingers? Two. Okay, not all the hand like that. That looks ugly. So we're gonna use two golpes like this. In the belly of the castle, remember? So we're gonna go ta ria. So this hand is doing golpe, this hand is doing ri, using all the fingers, that's what we just practice. Do you hear? Every single sound. So if you get tired, take a little sip of your drink. Hmm. Relax for a little and a second. Relax your back if you have to. Because I know you get tired. And then go back. And we're going to go. One, two, three. 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 And I'm thinking of extending my fingers when I do it. I'm not just not, you know, I'm not doing it without thinking. Your brain has to be engaged. One, two, three, my back is straight, my elbows are pretty. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now this one we could also do with music. This is called Paso Dobles. Usually Tarrian is used is, is, is used for Paso Dobles. I'm going to find a Paso Dobles song so that you hear how pretty it sounds with Paso Dobles. Paso Dobles are very old um, uh, songs from Spain, very popular and uh, they were danced by the older generations in Spain and they were dancing super pretty by the way in, in men and women would dance it together this is a very hard one I'm going to play it for you even though you may not be able to play it with me but just so you see how, here, how pretty it sounds ready? it's called España Cañí let me see why is it not me? here we go España Cañí Listen, I'm gonna interchange. Ready? Here we go.
this one so this one they use this one when the bullfighters are coming out to eat to the bullfighters and they come out with a beautiful attire So you're going to go, 
that's your homework, by the way. I don't know if I, I started telling you that. That's what you're gonna record for homework, either 10 or 20 of each exercise. So if you do 20, I'll be very proud of you. If you do 10, I'll be content. So 10 or 20 of the last one. Bye. Bye.